Today I'll be taking a quick look at the Moda Pro 2 Full Mechanical Keyboard from Nixius. This keyboard comes equipped with Gatoron Brown Mechanical Switches. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this thing open and see what we've got to look at. First thing you see is some information about the board, warranty, registration information. It actually came with a little cleaning brush, a key puller, and as you can see, here's one of the Windows keys. I think... This board must have been used on a Mac because it already has all of those keys on there. Let's get rid of the box and take a look at the keyboard itself. So right off the bat, I don't notice anything weird about it. Um, I don't see anything broken, scratched or damaged in any way. Nothing, no gross weird residue. Feels really good so far. These are brown switches again, which means they have the tactile bump, but they also do not have a click like the blue switches. These are not Cherry MX switches, by the way. Okay, let's go ahead and take a quick listen to what the keys sound like, in case you're interested in that. Again, since they're not Cherry MX, you're probably gonna wanna make sure, you're, you know, I'll give you as much information as possible. So, they feel really quite nice. Um, there is no click, I sort of like it, the keys are really, easy to press compared to my uh, other keyboard, my Cooler Master with blue switches. Um, spacebar feels a little spongy, and so does the shift bar. Now, I had taken a look at this, and the reason for this is if you, and backspace is the same way, listen how there's kind of a, you can hear it hitting the board, but with the larger keys, you don't get that. You get that kind of like mushy, this doesn't sound quite right. This is really nice, but this is not. So all these backspace and larger keys are like that. And if you take the key off, like get it off, you'll notice it's due to the mechanism they have to keep the key in line. There's this guide here and it doesn't actually let the key bottom out and hit the board. So on the larger keys, you're gonna be missing that kind of hit the bottom feel if that's what you want. Okay, so here is my previous keyboard and the one I'm just gonna keep at home. These have Cherry MX Blue switches in them which have the click and uh, click clack, basically. I'm sure you've heard it before. So we're gonna open up a little notepad here and give you a bit of a sound sample of what these sound like. I think you'll hear some differences and just the way the chassis of the keyboard sounds itself. So here you go. All right, so there you go. Um, right off the bat, I noticed that the space bar bottoms out much more, uh, much nicer on this Cooler Master board due to the lack of their special guidance system we saw on the backspace key of the Nixius. However, there is a spring sound. If you look, their guidance is just a simple pull with a couple springs keeping it up. But you get the click and it bottoms out all the way on the bottom of the keyboard. That's nice. And so do all the other keys. Enter, shift, so that's kind of the only complaint I have about the Nixie's keyboard itself. This keyboard was more expensive. I got it, I think, uh, rebate it was around $80. The Moda Pro has a very sturdy base, which won't move easily at all, thanks to the beefy rubber grips on the bottom of the keyboard. I think a lot of the differences between the two keyboards must do with the keycaps, switch type, and the guidance system used by Nixius. Cooler Master's plastic body still results in a hefty, stable typing and gaming experience. As far as gaming goes, I'll be sticking with the Cooler Master with Cherry MX switches. I noticed a slightly wider key spacing on this board, and as a result I had some difficulty picking up gaming on the tighter Nixius keyboard. But I find myself really enjoying the look and cool feel of the Nixius' stainless steel chassis. Don't get me wrong, I actually enjoyed the way the Gatoron brown switches felt, and I think with a bit of practice anyone can switch over to this keyboard. If you enjoyed this review, drop a like, comment, and feel free to subscribe to see more of my future videos. I'll be making some more tech-related videos and possibly some other random cinematic shorts in the near future. Thanks again for watching.